Yeah, hello. My name is Muhammad Bilal. And in this video, I'm going to tell you about heap sort. Basically, there are two types of heap sort. The first one is a minimum heap sort and the second one is maximum heap sort. So in this video, yeah, I'm going to show you how you can apply minimum heap sort in any given array. So first of all, like, you know, you have to understand, yeah, in the minimum heap sort, there is one condition comes up. The condition is this, the child node, yeah, it should be greater than the parent node. Means like, you know, when you are going to apply minimum heap sort, yeah, in the given array, so you have to just like, you know, take care about one condition, which is like the value of the child node should be greater than the value of the parent node every time if you haven't got any idea about like you know which one is going to be the child node and which one is going to be the parent node so here i've taken example of a tree yeah and here i did make one tree who has got three node in it one is a, a b c they are the three node of that tree so the node a yeah is a parent node and b and c they are the child node of this node so it means like you know a is a parent node of b and c and b and c are the child node of a so i hope like you know you understood which one is going to be the child node and which one is going to be the parent node so here i've written down one question over here apply minimum heap sort in the given array so here i've taken this array as an example and now I'm going to apply minimum heap sort in that array. And I have to just like, you know, take care about one condition, which is like the value of the child node. Yeah, should be greater than the value of the parent node. So let's get started. So here is the array. Now I'm going to apply minimum heap sort in this array. So first of all, like, you know, the value is going to become up is six. So I just make the node of six. Now again, going back to the array, after 6, yeah, the value comes up 3. So here, I write it down, 3. So now I check the condition, because like, you know, the condition says in the minimum heap sort, yeah, the value of the child node should be greater than the value of the parent node. So here is a 3, 3 is smaller than 6. This one is a child node and that one is a parent node. So it means like, you know, the condition is false. So I'm going to swap the values of both of them. Like here, I'm going to write it down. Six. This value comes up over here. And this will value goes there. So I'm going to cut that one. This six. So I'm going to write it down over here now. Three. So I did swap the value because the condition was false. Now again, I check the condition. Now the condition is true. Why? Because six is greater than three. So it means like, you know, the value of the child node, yeah, is greater than the parent node. So again, going back to the array, after three, the value comes up two. So I write it down over here, two. Again, I check the condition. Now condition is false. Why? Because this one is a child node and that one is a parent node. And the value of child node, yeah, is smaller than the parent node so it means the condition is false so again i'm gonna swap the value so here i'm gonna write it down three and this two goes over there so here i write it down two so again going back to the array after two yeah the value comes up five so i write it down over here five now again i check the condition now this one is a child node and that one is a parent node so the condition is false because 5 is smaller than 6. So again, I'm going to swap the value. So this 5 comes up over here. And this here, 6 comes up. And I cut it down, this one. So this condition is true. Now I check that condition because now in this stage, yeah, this one is a child node and that one is a parent node. So here five and here is two so it means like you no know, condition is true why because the value of the child node is greater than the value of the parent node so it means like you no know, condition is true so again moving back to the array after five yeah the value comes up four so here i write it down over here four 
Now again, I check the condition because now in this situation, yeah, this one's a child node and that one is a parent node. So the value of the child node is smaller than the parent node because here is four and here is five. So again, I'm gonna swap the value. So here I'm gonna write it down five and here I write it down four. So this condition is true. Now I check that condition. This condition is also true. Why? Because four is greater than two. So after four, the value comes up seven. Now I write it down over here, seven. Now again, I check the condition. Condition is true. Why? Because seven is greater than three. So condition is true. Now the last value of the array is eight. So I write eight over here. Again, I check the condition. Condition is true. Why? Because this one is a child node and the value of the child node is greater than the value of the parent node. Means 8 is greater than 3. So now I'm going to write it down because I did complete all the elements here. So here I'm going to write it down clearly. First of all, 2 comes. Now in this node here, yeah, the value is 4. In this node, the value is 3 now in this node the value is 6 in this node 5 now 7 and 8 7 and 8 so it means when you are going to apply minimum heap sort in this array yeah so after that yeah you're gonna get the tree is gonna be like this like in this tree, yeah, you can see this tree meets the condition of minimum heap sort. Like, you know, every time, yeah, the value of the child node is greater than the value of the parent node. Like here, if you see, yeah, 6 and 5, they are the child node of that node. And 6 and 5 are greater than 4. Now, if you come over here, now 4 is a child node of this node. 4 is greater than 2. So it means condition is true. Now, coming back over here. Um, 3, 3 is greater than 2, so it means condition is true. Now 7 and 8 are the child node of that node and 7 and 8 are greater than 3, so it means like no condition is true. So here you can see the tree comes up like this when you apply minimum heap sort in this array. And you can see like you know, in this tree, yeah, every time the value of the child node yeah, are coming greater than the value of their parent node. So I hope you understood how you can apply minimum heap sort in any array like you know if any array is going to become in your exam and you have to apply minimum heap sort in the given array. So what you need to do yeah you have to just like remember only one condition which is um, child node value should be the greater than the value of the parent node. So you have to just like you know remember only that condition and after that easily you can apply minimum heap sort in any array. So if you like my video so please subscribe to my channel press the bell icon